Welcome to the Let's Build series of videos that chronicles my journey in building a DIY FPV Spider Quad. The uh, beginning of summer I became interested in quad rotors, multi rotors in general, and I also had an affinity for FPV. Um, as a college student, I didn't have much time to really get involved with it, but I started doing a little bit of research. Once summer came about, I had all summer off to really dive into it. Uh, the information that's presented on RC groups and the other forums like FPV Lab and uh, OpenPilot.org, there's quite a bit of information on how to do FPV and how to do multi-rotor and to combine them and have an FPV multi-rotor. The only problem that I could see was that the information was so spread out even when you looked at the multi-rotor Megalink archive on RC groups, while all the information is there, it's really hard to know what you need to know to start. Uh, I wish that I could have had somebody just sit me down and say, here is a build path, follow this and you'll be successful. I spent quite a bit of time researching and figuring out what components I wanted to run uh, as far as FPV and for multi-rotor. I've spent all summer researching, building, flying, learning FPV, flying FPV, flying multi-rotor. I've built hexacopters, tricopters, quadcopters. I've built Y6s, Y4s. Uh, I've built as much as I possibly could and I think I've come to a point where I'm reasonably certain that I could instruct someone who's new to the sport, uh, even just beginning, and get them something that they can build themselves. Uh, and actually enjoy the sport of FPV and multi-rotor or just FPV or just multi-rotor. So I went ahead and I picked some components that I felt comfortable with. I designed a frame that is easy enough to cut out by hand yet still gives a little bit of aesthetic style. I didn't want it to just be another square plate with arms on it. I wanted it to have something that that looked like you could potentially buy it. Uh, the cutouts on it, I mean, they're not real intricate, but everything had to be cut by hand uh, with a scroll saw or, or like I demonstrate with a drill press. So I kept it simple but unique. Uh, the frame is almost completely symmetric. Uh, it's one inch longer than it is wide, so it doesn't really affect with the PID settings or the flight control settings nearly as much as some of the other uh, FPV spider builds, they have a much greater offset as far as width and actual length of the copter. So you have to tune the, the pitch and roll separately. You don't have to do that with this one. You can tune them both the same just like you would with a standard symmetric quad. I've picked budget components. This is not a high-end build. This is something that somebody interested in a hobby can jump into, not spend a fortune, and decide whether or not they like it. The frame parts total are going to run you around $15. The electronics are very reasonable. I think you can get all the electronics that I used for the quad itself, not including FPV, for right around $100. Um, the different accessories, if you've never done RC, it's going to cost you a little bit more, but I would still say sub $500 range, and you can be all in and ready to fly. That would include buying radio, battery, chargers, so on and so forth. Uh, complete all-in for FPV, you're looking probably around 800 but that's if you don't have anything. Of course, if you have some of the parts or you already have speed controls, you know, motors, what have you, you can get in quite a bit cheaper. But it's still far and above cheaper than a lot of the other setups. And I've condensed all the information in a series of videos that you can follow along and build the same quad that I've built either use the same parts, uh, components, or the components you choose. But what I've done is went ahead and developed a little packet uh, that includes an overall description of the quad and kind of gives you a components breakdown. Uh, it tells you the parts that you'll need and the quantity. The parts, like the FPV 51 bottom, 
uh, that is already included in the packet as well. It's a pattern that you're going to lay out on wood and cut out. The spacers are some Delrin rod that you're going to cut down and use to actually stack the two frame plates together. Uh, the screws, I have links to where you can get the hardware as far as the three millimeter screws and the uh, lock nuts. So even the arms are drawn out for you so that you don't have to do any measuring. You can just cut the arm template out, lay it on the uh, poplar dowel rod, uh, do your, your punches, cuts, and drill. And you don't have to do any measuring on your own. This is set up to be as newbie friendly as possible, yet still have enough aesthetics and complexity to give the person building it a little bit of pride. So you'll get that, and it's it's kind of like a overview. It's basically just a, a drawing of the frame, and then the different parts that it's going to use, and then the quantity. You will get a template for the rear arms. This just gets cut out, laid on the poplar. You punch your holes, and you drill them out, and that's all there is to it. Front arm template. Again, lay it on, drill it out. Uh, since I'm using just standard notebook size paper, I didn't want to have to tile this and have people try to fight with getting it to print on a PDF. So I've saved it straight to a PDF. I took the time to cut it out directly in half so that when you print it out, all you have to do is cut this out, cut the other half out, and then you join them together on the line and there's not a lot of guesswork to it. So you would just cut this out, tape it on. Again, I, I demonstrate this in the video. All the cutouts on the frame are only for the top plate. Uh, the, the ones that are actually for the bottom plate will be uh, like this slot right here, which is for a strap over a camera. And then you'll have some slots as well that you are going to cut out uh, to hold the, for Velcro strapping to hold the battery on. But all the major cutouts are for the top frame only, and I show this in a video, and that how you will actually lay it out, cut two pieces of wood on a chop saw, screw them together with this pattern, and then you're going to cut it all out at once, drill all the holes, then you'll separate the two, and then just cut the the uh, the top cutouts on one plate and leave the bottom alone. So you'll get those two, and then you will also get. A topper plate that basically is to protect the electronics. I've gone, a gone ahead and created a circle in the center so you can actually get to the flight board and get to the, the, the server wires, the speed control wires, or I'm sorry, speed control wires, the receiver wires, that type of thing. And I put a little pizzazz or flash or flare or whatever you want with these uh, pointy objects. I like points a lot. You obviously don't have to do that. I mean, you could just come straight across if you wanted, or you can make it dome around. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you. This is what I've drawn for you, and this is what I'm presenting. And as well, in the downloadable file that contains all these PDFs is a parts list with links to all the equipment that I used as far as electronics. And that, that goes all the way from the basic frame build to the electronics for the quad, all the way to the FPV gear. Um, I also want to give a shout out to the critics, the people that like to do nothing but find faults with everything they see. I realize this is not the uh, greatest quad you've ever seen design. I realize it's not the uh, exact most stable uh, professional $5,000 aerial camera ship. I realize that there have been other builds that are better. I realize that I'm a fat guy, hence the Fat Boy Productions. I realize that my flying sucks. I realize that the locations are bad. I realize that my movies are stupid. Okay, so with that said, we don't need you. Keep you keep all your negative comments to yourself. This is this is simply to help other people and, and to help them get going. If you don't like what I've done, give suggestions. That's fine. But there's no reason to be rude to me or others in the thread when I post this. Okay, so with that done. I have a link in the thread and then a link in each video where you can download the packet that contains the PDF files so that you can build this. I welcome you to uh, follow along and build it with me and report back how it flies. If you have any design suggestions, feel free to post them up. 
uh, and do whatever you want. This is not for profit. It's totally free. It's just me giving back because I feel like I got a lot uh, of information and resources from the various threads and forums. So, thank you.